Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. The President of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama, who I would argue is insane in the membrane, is totally contradicting the CDC. In fact, the CDC is warning people traveling overseas to Liberia, Sierra Leone, Guinea, not to travel on public transportation. Buses, people becoming infected using simply a taxi that a previous Ebola infected person slash patient was using. Yet they continue to reiterate, and the president specifically, President Barack Hussein, insane in the membrane, Obama, continues to reiterate that Ebola isn't airborne. Yet the CDC says don't ride a bus, don't ride a taxi, and don't ride public transportation. I also asking for you to wear masks and protect your face. As there's been numerous cases, there was a Spanish nurse who didn't recall at the time how she contracted the disease because she was wearing protective clothing, treating two ministers that were helping heal others overseas in this affected part of the world, the Ebola hot zone. So total and utter contradictions. In fact, the unlikely event that Obama called it, saying it wouldn't come to America, that it was an unlikely event, has now become a pandemic so bad that Tom Frieden, the head of the CDC, says that he hasn't seen anything like it since the outbreak of AIDS. President Barack Obama's unlikely event has become as bad as the outbreak of AIDS, according to the head of the CDC. You know, I can't help but wonder, America, when the President of the United States, in his unlikely event, when he'll begin recommending euthanasia for y'all. When the pandemic spreads to more and more people uh, here in the United States of America, it's funny, we have more humanity for pets. In fact, the Spanish nurse's dog, I believe it was, was euthanized immediately. Now, they'll euthanize pets with the disease because they don't want it to spread, but they'll keep our borders open from Sierra Leone, Guinea, Liberia. They'll check your temperature, even though Thomas Eric Duncan, the first known American patient that came to America from the affected Ebola hot zone wasn't showing a temperature when he came overseas and flew multiple stops all the way to Dulles International Airport into Dallas and then exposed himself to hundreds and hundreds more people that could eventually replicate and duplicate itself as is the very nature of a virulent disease. It spread to potentially thousands, tens of thousands, and millions of people. You see, sticking a thermometer up your butt and maybe someone should do that to the President of the United States because he really is insane. I mean, this is illogical. He, he tells you, you know, don't panic. You can't contract the disease. It's not airborne, even though it is. Even though the CDC is warning that this is for the worst outbreak that Tom Frieden, the head of the CDC, has ever seen uh, since AIDS. And they're recommending not to use public transportation, taxis. And we have numerous cases, whether or not it was the Spanish nurse, uh, it was the embassy NBC, NBC uh, cameraman, I know Howard Stern in his movie used to say, NBC, NBC, if it was the cameraman that also contracted the disease. The disease is airborne, folks. You're being lied to. It's already mutated, and it's already spreading aggressively throughout the world. Not just in Europe, not just in the host countries, but here in the United States of America. And we have to ask the question, when will the president recommend euthanasia for y'all? to snuff out the disease conveniently. I'm Christopher Green. Get it out everywhere. Make it viral, hard hitting, and in your face. Check out our sponsor, JM Bullion, right now. The most trusted dealer in precious metals, offering a wide selection of products, including silver and gold coins from all of the government mints. Free shipping for AMTV subscribers.